Yo, 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 your boy is back. We are here with another episode of the GOAT series. But before we get started, I want to do some more shameless self-promotion. Go and follow your boy on twitch.tv slash underscore, no underscore actually, Shaquille underscore oatmeal underscore R-O. I stream five days a week, modern games, retro games, we watch anime, we watch sports, go and follow your boy, talk some shit there, you want to talk shit in the comments, talk shit to me there, live and direct, then go and follow me on Spotify, the round one podcast, talk about video games, talk about sports, talk about anime there as well, and then, since you're already here, drop your boy a follow on YouTube. We do anime recommendations, we do sports reactions, we do video game reviews, we do a bunch of different stuff here, so go and show your boys some love. So without further ado, this week we're going to be talking about Penny Hardaway. We're going to be reacting to the top 40 plays of Penny Hardaway's career. So let's get right into it. All right, this is an old video. Bang. Okay, ooh. That was, that was Penny Hardaway's like patented move. That, um, that spin move was, I really don't see anybody else do that but Penny Hardaway. Um, and that's a really, really effective move. I think guys should really do, do that move more often. But he is one of the only guys that I ever seen really do that. That um, I don't even know what to call that. I guess like a a a, a back down, a a post fake jump shot. I don't I don't even know. Um, but that was his patented move. And Penny, just like T Mac, was a was a great uh, magic guard. If this team would have stayed together. And would have got Tracy McGrady. They would have been so scary. And especially if, um, you know, Penny Hardaway didn't get hurt um, as much as he did. Oh. At that old Boston Garden. Oh. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I was going to play that back, but I didn't even need to. They did it so many times. Uh. 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 So, Penny Hardaway and Shaq were the, um, were like the original Kobe and Shaq, except Penny Hardaway was like constantly hurt. He can never really stay healthy. Um, and they just, they weren't able to get over the hump in the playoffs. Um, but Penny Hardaway was almost like a six foot nine Kobe in a way where he was very athletic. He can, you know, take guys off the dribble, had a mid range game, had a three point game, a post game. He could dribble drive, could do a lot of stuff like, like Kobe could offensively. Um, but he also like played point guard. He was like a six foot nine point guard, um, very underrated player all time. Um, people don't really talk about him anymore. But he was way ahead of his time as well. Ooh. Oh, oh! Like if if Penny came into the league today, he would be a sensation. Oh. Look at how many guys are in the paint. And, like, you don't see that many guys in the paint now. In the paint, there's maybe two or three guys maximum, like, including the defender. You probably have, like, the center and the power forward there, and then everyone else is kind of stretched out to the three-point line. But, like, in this clip right here, there's, like, four guys down there. One, two. One, two, three. Plus him. And then there's a guy to the left of Rick Smith's right there. So it's, like, one, two, three guy behind him plus Penny 
and he's able to take it on all of them. You wouldn't see that many guys in the paint typically um, in today's game because there's so many shooters. The the It's a lot more spaced out, and guys are able to drive much easier. Oh. This is going to be like a Shaq highlight reel, too, because he was, you know, dishing the ball a lot to Shaq. Oh. What a move. Oof. Oh, with the one-handed hang. Bang. Oh. And there's Jordan in the background. Hmm. Mm. Oh. Yeah, he he was a lot like um T Mac. He reminded me a lot of T Mac. They had that like that driving ability, that that athleticism. They like to dunk the ball, like to attack the rim. Mm. Bang. Ooh, what a fake. What a ball fake. Bang. And <laughs> as you can see, there's not as many shooting highlights because there wasn't as many three-point shots taken as there are today. Um... There was a lot of it was a lot of mid range game. It was a lot of drives to the basket. It was a lot of like post game, um, where you would you know have to either take a guy with your back to the basket off the dribble, post them up, uh, or you know uh, attack from the perimeter to really get a lot of your points. But guys weren't really shooting threes like that as a team. I think guys were maybe taking like twenty five threes a game as a team. Now you have guys take like 25 threes alone. Like Steph Curry will come out and shoot 25 threes in a game. Um, but they were maybe taking 15 to 25 threes a game as a team. Oh, what a pass. Oh. Okay, okay. Oh. 360 over the head layup. Oof. Okay. Oh. What a move. What a move. Oh. Oh. Spin. Lay. It's. This is the thing. I think guys now are very, like, creative off the dribble. Um. Guys were very creative then, but I think some of the moves, some of the dribble moves and stuff now are more like for show, for showmanship, than they are for actually being able to get a basket. Like that right there was completely necessary for him to get that basket. He didn't, he wasn't doing that just to try and like be flashy. He was doing that because he was like, okay, I gotta, you know, come down, dribble the ball between my legs, fake left, go with a spin move, and then I'm, I'm able to, you know, get that basket. But now some guys will, will do all these crazy handles and stuff, and the ball looks like it's on a string, and they'll be moving left and right and doing all this stuff. And it's like a lot of the times you don't need to do that. Mm. Is that Christian Leitner? Who is that? Bang. Right on Jordan. No, oh, is that Jordan? No, I think that was uh, Tim Hardaway in the Heat. Oh, what a move. There was Jordan. 45 Jordan, not even 23. 
Torres Got him with the fake. My God, what a circus shot. Wow, on Hakeem. And that was on Malone? Oh, oh my God. Hold on, I gotta watch that again. Are they gonna show the replay? Oh, they are. Oh, what a dime. What a beautiful dime. Bang. Oh my God, what a pass. Dude, I don't even know if he was looking. He was, was he even looking? That went right to him. Oh, with the steal. Three seconds. Two. One. Oh! He got it. Oh! Okay. Oh, 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 with the fake. Oh, up and under. Man, he puts Starks in the spin cycle. Oh. Right on Ewing's head, man. Yeah, he posterized a lot of these great bigs. Elijah Wan, Ewing, Malone. Wow. That was like some Magic Johnson move right there, man. Oh, my God. I'm Matumbo now. Yeah, he had no fear going to the rim on these bigs. Not Derek Coleman. Derek Coleman didn't even try. Ooh. Got that on Jermaine Curse. What did he put him put him on the spin cycle right there? What a wow. What a move. This is just someone outthinking everyone else, knowing where everybody is. To Horace Grant. Oh, what a steal. This is his number one play. Oh! What was the? Because I see there were some better highlights than that that he that he had. What was the? I wonder what the um like moment was for this game that that caused this to be number one. What was like the the stage that was set? Because he had the steal. He had the pass. And then it was just a dunk on who is that? Sam Mitchell? But he had some better moves than that. There was definitely some better moves in there. But that was Penny Hardaway. One of the, the greats, in my opinion. Definitely on that, that GOAT list. He's definitely not the GOAT. But he's in that Legends GOAT category. Um one of the top 75 players I think I've ever seen play basketball. Um, and I feel like if you're in that top 75 list, you're definitely, um, have that goat status, that goat claim to fame. Um, cause you're one of the greatest of all time. There's been thousands of guys that have played in the NBA and you're one of the 75 greatest ever. Um, you know, there's some, there's some merit in that. Um, but that was another episode. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. But before we go, go follow me again on Spotify, the Round One Podcast. Go follow me on Twitch, twitch.tv slash Shaquille underscore oatmeal underscore RO. And go follow your boy right here on YouTube. We got some great videos and some great content with more coming for you. So go do your boy a favor. Show me some love. And I'll see y'all next time. Peace out.